Hi guys, welcome to our channel. My name's Laura. I'm Mike. And we're going to attempt to make some videos just documenting the life of our daughter called Melody. She's one year of age as of last week. It was. And we had a party to celebrate, didn't we? Moana themed. So we planned this big party for her of all our closest friends and family. And we just thought it'd be a good idea after having one year with her, maybe to share some memories with you guys out there. And just so we've got it to look back on, maybe yeah. over the course of a few years. So, Melody, these videos are for you. I went to make this channel for a while. Yeah, you've wanted to make it for quite some time now, haven't you? I remember we went, we went to Walt Disney World when we were pregnant. I say we, when, when you were pregnant. When we were watching the Bucket List family. When they had a Dorothy in Manila. Oh, yeah, they were so cute. Yeah. I think Jess was just pregnant when she were Carly, because I think they announced it. They announced it on that one of those videos, yeah. Yeah. But, it must be that good for them because they'll be able to look back on those memories. Yeah, it's about, like I always think like especially when you're younger, well, when looking back you don't remember anything really. No. And now Melody's got that option if she wants to say, I mean, she might be embarrassed by some of them, but if she wants to look back in the future, then it's there for her. Yeah. Especially when you think back to when you're little, like, you don't remember any of your your childhood things. No. Really, do you? I don't remember last week. My memory is just... <laughs> yeah, you're shocking. So... Hopefully these videos are good for me as well. So we just want a good way to introduce yourselves to our channel is maybe just by answering some questions just so you can get to know us a little bit better. Yeah. And we'll go from there. Okay, so the first question we've got is what is your favourite drink? Alcoholic or non-alcoholic? I go alcoholic first. Oh. Oh. I like rum and coke. What type of rum? Spiced. Definitely mm. spiced. Okay, what's your favourite non-alcoholic drink? Coke. <laughs> so you like rum and coke and coke? Yeah, I don't know if it's like, I don't know because... Of... You're not really a big fan of alcohol either though, are you? I like a beer. Mm. Don't drink in the house. It's, it's different now we've got Melody. Yeah. We've got kind of time. Got to get up too early. <laughs> yeah, we need to sleep. Yeah. Um, I think my favourite drink... I'd say alcoholic. I want to say gin or rosé, but it's 100% rosé sangria. I am obsessed with that drink. So what's the difference between sangria and rosé sangria? It's got rosé in it. Instead of? Like red wine or white wine. Oh. It's so good. I can't wait to drink alcohol. What's your favourite non-alcoholic drink? Is it really boring to say water? Mm. I really just like water. Preferably bottled water, even though I get shot without about it. We go through so much bottled water. <laughs> Who was your very first best friend? Oh. Very first best friend. It was a guy called Phil. Phil? Yeah, I remember because. How old was he? Middle age? <laughs> <laughs> Phil's not a middle aged name. It is 100%. No, because I remember he was my best friend up until he wasn't allowed to see me again. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what did I do? It wasn't me. Sadly, Phil put a stone through next to his window. I'm sure your mum was very impressed by that. We mm. like banned from seeing him. The next question is, what is your spirit animal and why? Oh. I like a rhino. As an animal. I mean, we all wouldn't say it was your spirit animal. What would you say my spirit animal was? I don't know, like a blobfish. A blobfish? A <laughs> I just think it's quite funny. What's your spirit animal? A sloth. You're sloths pretty lazy. depending on where you're from. There's little sloths. You're wearing perfume, what scent is it? Tom Ford. My Tom Ford, my Ayad. My expensive bottle of Tom Ford that he keeps using. Julie Sex. It's definitely not. It is. <laughs> Mine's Coco Mademoiselle Chanel or Flower Bomb because I wear them death don't I? This is a good question. Who are your favourite YouTubers? Oh gosh, uh, how long have we got? Two thousand years later. My favourite YouTuber is going to be Mama Reed, so Ashley Reed, Charlotte Louise Taylor, 
We're obsessed with both of them. I, we love Sophie and Dave. You like to watch that. I well. do. We do watch Sophie and Dave. But I think I? our main favourite YouTuber that we religiously watch day in and day out together has got to be the Tim Tracker. Tim Tracker. We love Tim and Jeff yeah, so do. much. <laughs> I think because we just love Disney. And we just love everything about, I think they're just so funny, they bounce off each other. Yeah. It was our friend that got us into it, wasn't it? Wasn't they? Was um, it was a... I think I did from them from other YouTubers. Oh really? Yeah. And but... like, I started watching Tim and then your friend mentioned it to me. Yeah. And then I used to watch it and then you'd watch it in the background. And then I think when, as soon as we booked Disney again, you were like... Yeah. Because we, we went to Disney in 20... 2018, didn't we? 2017. 20... When I was pregnant, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Come on, Avatar. No, you couldn't. <laughs> what? So, what is your go-to fast food order? That's a really good one. It says a lot about you. Oh. Should we start with McDonald's? Oh, I was just doing, like, McDonald's burger, like, Burger King fries. But, okay. So, if we go McDonald's, I'm going to get a Big Mac meal. Is that boring? Or a Happy Meal. I do like a Happy Meal. What would you have in a Happy Meal? Chicken nuggets and a cheeseburger. And just a water. <laughs> <laughs> what would you get at McDonald's? Quarter pounder. With cheese. Okay. If there's not mustard on it, it goes ballistic. For some reason, our local McDonald's doesn't put mustard on the quarter pounders. Um, if we go to KFC, which we never ever go to, I was vegetarian for two years and all I wanted was a KFC and since I stopped being veggie, I think we've had one. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we go to KFC, I like chicken strips, is that what they're called? Boneless banquet? We don't really go to KFC. <laughs> As you can probably tell. Um, Domino's. Domino's. I'm a chicken feast girl. American hot. We have to do half. Was it Mexican hot? It's one of the pepperonis. It's the pepperonis, not mm. the chili beef. Mm -hmm. And then... I get three cookies and I might get one. <laughs> Usually I have one cookie or I have two cookies and I stay in mine for the next morning. It's gone before he gets up. That's true. But I get up at 7am with the baby so I deserve that. I don't think so. <laughs> um, I, don't really, I don't think we really have any other type of fast food around here that we have. No. That often. No. Not that I can think of anyway. I think that's about it. Next question. What is your most memorable vacation memory? When we announced that pregnancy. Oh, that was mine! <laughs> was yeah! We, we got this cute little picture made. Yeah, definitely that. We got these nice Mickey ears made, didn't we? Yeah. Got them embroidered with our surname. My surname. We are engaged. <laughs> uh, I tell you, <laughs> marry me. So we got that embroidered with the babies surname and we announced that to our friends and family on Facebook. It was it was just a nice sweet photo. Yeah, it was so lovely and your mum actually got us part of the canvas, didn't she? She did. Such an amazing memory. It was the first thing we did when we got there. It was a bit hit and miss because of the old storm Irma or Hurricane Irma at the time. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. But we ended up um getting there and being able to do that. So that was probably my most memorable. Other than that it's probably we go to Disney quite a lot, so you'll probably see, but um, the first time we saw the castle, the first time I went forward with your family, and that was just amazing. Yeah, we've been a few times now. Yeah. We? we always have breakfast at Mickey Mouse at Chef Mickey's. Yeah, standard day one. <laughs> so the next question is, do you have any bad habits? I've got a bad habit. Mike's got the worst bad habit. So his first bad habit is oh, if you go into our first. kitchen, if you go into our kitchen, we have to, because of the way it's sort of laid out, it's laid out funny, so we have to put a fridge behind the door, which goes into under the stairs. Mike insists on leaving the fridge door shut and then the door open. So I just don't understand how he can't shut the door. But when I want to go in the fridge, then I have to go through another door before I even get to the fridge door. It saves time. No, that's just not acceptable. That's so annoying. <laughs> just shut the door. So now every time he leaves it open, no matter what he's doing, I mean, he can come up. I might pop off, dog. Shut the door. He knows it's not worth it to leave it open. No, now. it's not worth it because I'll just get called off the couch. Uh, your second bad habit. I'll say that on my point, Mr. The video. 
<laughs> but yeah, that's the second bad habit. I don't think I have any bad habits. Uh, I think you've got a bad habit with makeup wipes. <sighs> Mike, we get this from the drawer. I open the drawer and it's just endless piles of old makeup wipes. I mean, I don't do it anymore because I don't use makeup wipes anymore. But I used to be pretty bad at that, I'll admit that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good one. But I don't want you to say... I'll say mine first. So the next question is, what is your favourite Netflix show? And mine is 100% Stranger Things. I am so obsessed with it. Took you a while. You didn't really like the first few episodes, but I am obsessed with it. And as yeah. soon as it comes out, we'll be watching every single episode that day. <laughs> I'm trying to think what other, what other things on Netflix we watched that are Netflix exclusive. Oh, we liked The OA. That was so good. It was a bit weird, but we did like that. Exactly, like season two. Mm. I can't think what else we watched. I think what's it going? I know it's not Netflix exclusive, but we binge watched Luther recently. Yeah, on Netflix. Just because you've wanted to watch it for a while, haven't you? And I've always been a bit, but I was obsessed. And I was like, let's watch another one, let's watch another one. You well, like, no, watched. you've watched one. <laughs> what about that show with that guy from Fifty Shades of Grey? That, that, what, what oh, no, that was on Amazon Prime. It was called The Fall or something. Yeah, it was an old show. So well. good. Oh, it was. We really liked it. <laughs> we were upset. We binged it in like a day. I don't really, I can't really think of anything we watch. We saw it, we don't really tend to watch Netflix anymore, do we? No. We watch like the Marvel shows and stuff, but. Yeah, we, we like The Punisher lately. Yeah, we've even got off that a bit though, haven't we? I think it's a time thing. By the time we put Melody to bed, yeah. we just sit and watch YouTube. Yeah. We watch Tim Tracker's daily vlog, and then we end up watching these. 50, 50 amateur chefs try and fillet a fish or yeah. chop a butternut squash. We go deep. We yeah, do some nights, man. Black holes. <laughs> but yeah, we, we don't tend to watch Netflix anymore. I'll watch it for like Shadow Hunters because I like that and, and Riverdale. I tend to watch them on it, but as a couple, we don't really watch much on there. Favourite memory? Melody being born. And I think that's the best place to wrap up our questions yeah so we just wanted to share obviously the next sort of couple of months maybe yeah and just see where it goes yeah just see how this takes us yeah we want to we want to have right. this to, so the melody can look back so yeah no one watches it no one watches it at least me yeah. laura and our daughter melody will be watching these yeah these are for us it's just so we can share our, our memories and, and then we've always got them there Thank you for watching. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.